sniper over there! Crack this one open? Keep a lookout. Ready. Yes, more of your finest wine, James. Consider this overdue. Oh, wait, wait. Back taxes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. against his political enemies. He preaches mercy, but 40 souls lie tonight dead in unmarked graves. If a man was ever unworthy of grace, who would be my husband? 
But when I was beyond redemption, he offered it anyway. How can I deny forgiveness to, to one who with love granted it to me? some money. Here you go. Open. It seems easy enough. It's done.
Can you open this? I'll see what I can do. I had trapped the atom in mid-air. Colleagues called my Lutes field quantum levitation. But in fact, it was nothing of the sort. Magicians levitate. My atom simply failed to fall. If an atom could be suspended indefinitely, well, why not an apple? If an apple, why not a city? Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? Really? That little old lock. All yours. Comstock House, Booker. Let's head back outside.
Nice! I found salt! There's the graveyard, where my mother's buried. Where are you going? What are we looking for? There it is. your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Her. How are you, Mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. Shepherd, and he has led you astray. Uh, what I do, uh, I do for uh, love. Uh, uh, what lions does uh, not cringe uh, to see their cub in pain? But spare the rod, spoil the child. If you won't listen to me, perhaps you will listen to your mother. Elizabeth, are you all right? Where, where did she Just go? Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of tear. What am I? My God, is she the source of my power? But what is she, alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House.
It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Compson. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just I'm not so sure it was her. some money. Want it? It's done. Comstock has sabotaged our contraption, yet we are not dead. A theory. We are scattered amongst the possibility space. But my brother and I are together, and so I am content. He is not. The business with the girl lies unresolved. But perhaps there is one who can finish it in our stead. Here's some cash. what the doctor ordered.
seems to have been made sterile by simple exposure to our contraption. A theory. Just as sexual reproduction can de-emphasize the traits of each parent, so goes the effect of multiple realities on our own. Your traits dissipate until they become unrecognizable or cease to exist. She deserves whatever Comstock did to her. What did you mean before when you said Lady Comstock didn't belong here? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection of... Um... I don't know. timing.
to do with my mother. 